Resource drama is back. Someone actually emailed me the other day about some drama going on and I shrugged it off, thinking that we were all smarter now from the oil and comp drama. Surely we had this figured out by now. Of course, I was wrong. I think most of us by now have seen the memes or pictures of the field swarmed by jeeps and trucks to take the R medals and quickly move on to the next field. It's almost amusing how fast this tech tier changed clan man into a bunch of swarming locusts who fly from salvage field to salvage field in order to get the rare medals as fast as possible. Who would have guessed that drama would happen over a resource that has such a low drop rate? Honestly, seeing all these boxes on the ground and salvage not being used breaks my logy heart. There's of course been an uptick in civil wars, friendly players killing other friendly players over these rare metals. This wasteful disregarding of resources could have been used for BMATs or EMATs or MSUPs. It's just disgraceful. Foxhole players have an impressive ability to optimize the fun out of the game sometimes. We've all seen resource scarcity and fighting over oil in comp fields before. But we haven't seen resource waste of salvage on this scale in the past. This does remind me of the early days of the reworked tech system about two years ago. People would just leave scrap in boxes and take the iron. But the salvage waste was not as bad as it is now. So yes, technically tech maids or quartermaster did this before the naval update to speed up the tech. This was especially common when wanting to push out 300mm or 120mm tech. Maybe it seems much larger right now because the resource nodes are spawning faster. Who do we blame here? The devs and their vision, or the players? When I finally thought we had a lot of the oil and comp drama figured out, we are back to fighting our own team more than the enemy faction just because some groups think that they can claim the resource nodes. In the last 48 hours, I've heard several stories of civil wars between groups and people getting shot over their rare metals. Something about this current rare metal system needs to be changed. Unlike regular raw resources, rare metal spawns once a certain tech is unlocked. Once it's unlocked, it will begin spawning at around the same rate as tech materials. Rare metal has a random chance to drop at salvage fields. Rare metals are turned into rare alloys that are currently used to build dry docks, destroyers, submarines, and battleships. Basically all the fun new toys in naval warfare. One of the major issues with rare metal spawns is their drop rate. Gotta play Where's Waldo to find out? I hate it. I did tell you a better one morning when we made first harvesters, people literally sit in them field spawn. Yeah, because people are trying to get rare metals. I hate the fact. I. Um, ah, rare metals. I got words for them. I, I don't even care about rare metals, so I don't care about ships. They're not part of the production chain. They're entirely a fucking gotcha game of whether or not you're gonna get rare metals, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Is, it is against my logy mind. Hey, is this field got it? Pull the lever. Nope, doesn't have it. Go to the next one. Pull the lever. Hate it. I hate uh, it. Cornus? Nah. I've heard players say that fields can drop 15 per field or 80 per field or sometimes drop zero. I've also heard of players scrapping for hours and hours between different fields and finding nothing so far. This RNG is a little bit too much. I wanted to test it out for myself with a few other people, so we cleared a whole 250 node of salvage. And we got about 96 rare metals. But this was during a lower population time, so I'm wondering if that factored in as well. Now we need to ask ourselves, how do we go about making rare metals a tolerable mechanic? What needs to be changed to prevent these civil wars from happening? I interviewed a player from a large regiment on what they had been doing. And this is what they said. We were doing a lot of what other clans were doing and just going from field to field looking for rare mats. We would try to drop the salvage close to where the scrap trucks or containers were so that it would be easier to get picked up by this groupers. But we were really having to move fast to these nodes to stay ahead of other groups. So we did end up leaving some salvage behind. They wanted to remain anonymous so sorry you can't witch hunt them down and yell at them for their opinion or for racing from field to field for rare metals. So again I'll just simply ask, do we blame the players from racing from field to to feel like a bunch of locusts? Or do we blame the current mechanics and dev man? One solution I want to start off with is not having it that you need rare metals to build a dry dock. This seems ridiculous to me. The only reason I can think that they are doing this is because they don't want people to spam dry docks, which I get. I hope they change in future updates that dry docks need to be built with different materials. Here are a few solutions that I read about that I thought were interesting. Maybe the devs should try having it so that the rare metals drop in coal fields instead. That way the tech process for tech mats would not be interrupted or delayed. This would honestly probably cause more drama for coal fields, but at least it wouldn't affect the tech mats. I've seen some people mention that it should go back to the oil rigs. I honestly think that would cause even more drama than we're having right now. 
especially if it went back in its casino form. Another possible solution is using a combination of resources to craft the rare metals. Make it really hard to produce that you can still restrict the production enough so that there still wouldn't be any ship spamming. This would at least solve the RNG issue, which personally I think this is the first issue that needs to be solved. We need to get rid of this RNG element. Overall, the production should be hard. We don't want hundreds of battleships out on the water. Some people think that the devs have gone too far in one direction and made all of these ships too hard to build, and that only a small percentage of the player base will ever be able to build one or use one. I personally don't think that at all. I've seen how dedicated some of these small foxhole groups are. I'm sure we will see a lot more ships than we think this war. Like any new resource introduced in the game, the first couple wars people will go hard and hoard and gather as much of the resources as possible to play with the new toys. But after two or three wars, it will tone down significantly and it will correct itself. Another thing I wanted to talk about is how the rare metals drop. If a field drops any tech, there won't be any rare metal drops there. The fact that tech mats replace the rare metal drop seems like an oversight and I believe it should not work this way. Rare metal drops should not replace tech mat drops in my opinion. If they are going to continue to do it this way, I think the rate at which both resources drop needs to be increased. I think we need to have rare metals drop in all fields, and we need to lower the RNG threshold to save people some more time. I don't want another ooze bag situation like I had in World of Warcraft. Please don't take me back to this kind of grind. What would be really awesome to see is that once everything is teched, tech drops turn into only rare metal drops. Instead of having all of these useless tech max, you could increase the more rare metal drops and more ships can be produced to possibly speed up the war. Anyone have any thoughts on this? What I would like to see further down the road is a smaller update where ships don't require rare metals to be built, and more variety of ships before destroyers and battleships. I think this is all going to blow over, and I think it's going to be one of those situations like fire trucks or cabooses or fire buckets. The devs will make small changes after a couple of wars, they will reduce the amount of time it takes to get these resources and to make these ships. And people won't like me saying this, but I would rather us suffer from there not being enough resources and there being way too many. I think it makes more sense to make the thing harder to obtain at first and then dial and balance it back after a couple of wars. Another thing I'll add that people won't like is I'm glad that destroyers and battleships take a lot of resources to make. After playing with these ships on the dev branch, they take a huge crew to manage. I'm of the mindset right now that I don't think 5 or 10 man clans should be using these boats. I think if you're working with another regiment, that sounds great, but if you're a five-man group that thinks you need a battleship, I don't agree with you currently. These boats take big groups to operate. I don't think it would be fun for anyone to see 10 to 20 battleships out on the water with each having only about five members on board. But go ahead and get mad at me for this take, I understand. Even though resource drama has been around for a long time, something came to my mind that we as a community need to stop doing. We need to stop saying that X country regiment is the only one to blame. Calling out a specific country is super toxic and needs to stop. Name and shame the actual clans, be my guest. But stop calling them by a specific country name. Just something that has really bothered me lately that I needed to get off my chest. Something else I need to ask you all is do you think Foxhole is creeping into dangerous territory of being too grindy? Because of this new rare metal mechanic, are we turning into a gotcha game? Having a random chance for a resource to drop is not an interesting or fun mechanic in my opinion. I'm a Logi player for crying out loud and I think random chance grind for mats is too much. Most players already hate the Logi loop in Foxhole and now you want to add a luck based mechanic to it? I mean, it's just backbreaking and demotivating at this point. With super heavy tanks and battle tanks, it was a grind, but at least it wasn't left up to chance. You could put in hours of gathering and still end up with little or no rare metals. This is extremely frustrating. You all know that I find scrooping, crafting, and the general logistics loop to be relaxing. I love to just sit back and do my little task here and there, but I know I'm not the normal player within Foxhole. Not everyone likes to clean out parking lots like I do. I'm starting to wonder if the devs have left logistics untouched for far too long within their development. They might need to honestly take a step back and work on some quality life issues that logistics players are facing. I'm sure trying to make logic fun is very hard to do. Maybe the devs have just given up on the fact that it ever will be fun, and maybe you just need to be a masochist to love Logi. I get why most updates have big flashy new toys with tanks and battleships. It brings in a lot more new players than the flashy logistic changes. Again, most players won't agree with this, but I think the best change so far in this update has been the addition of heavy trucks. It's not like the devs could have had an announcement trailer just featuring heavy trucks and expected a new wave of players to come in. But these trucks are amazing. Overall, I've dragged my final thoughts on this out. I think having a resource drop by chance in Foxhole is incredibly disrespectful to a player's time and energy. Some of us 
us like the struggle that Laji brings, and some of us get burnt out more often than others. I think if we continue to go down this path where mats drop randomly, I foresee burnout becoming even more of an issue than it is now. With the new rare metal drops and the extra grind the devs have given us through battleships, should Laji once again go on strike? Maybe start demanding those quality of life changes that we need? Do you think the current system for rare metals is healthy for the game? Do you think it will get better or worse in future wars? If you think the current system is broken, what do you think the solution should be? If I'm getting the feeling right from the community and who I've talked to, I don't think any of us really want a got you system in this game. It really ruins the foxhole experience. Do we really need to blame players for leaving salvage, or do we again need to blame the current mechanic and the devs for the gotcha mechanic? Let me know in the comments. Thank you as always for watching, make sure to subscribe for more foxhole content. Please if you can take extra salvage to a place where it can get used, I will be forever grateful. Cheers.